In Nairobi's down market, Kawangwari, seven-year-old Blessing taps away on her new tablet in her crowded, cement-floored, tin-walled classroom. She's learning to spell. It's fun. I don't write. I look at the stories and then the pictures. These hand-sized tablets are part of the Kiyo kit, a digital classroom in a suitcase designed by local technology company Brick. The aim is to turn any schoolroom into a digital classroom. Josephine Boke, a veteran primary school teacher, says the kit is nicely designed for the young hands. The story is there, the questions are there, all the spellings games are there, writing is there, dotting of the letters are there, and uh, the questions are there. And the conclusion of the lesson is also there for the teacher and the children. They feel happy when they are using it. The Kio kit contains 40 tablets and a brick, the hard-wearing brick-sized modem that works as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Inside and on the brick, there is a Linux server, so they can locally cache educational content and serve it up to the tablets. But some say the $5,000 price tag is too expensive for poorer areas. But the designers disagree. We don't think it's beyond the reach of a public school to spend $5,000 giving digital access to, you know, 400 children maybe. Um, and we, you know, we feasibly see this kit being rolled around and we, from one classroom to the next throughout the day, throughout the week, um, children sharing it having access to the kind of content and e-textbooks that they would otherwise not have access to. In Kenya, just five primary schools and libraries are currently using the kit, but the company says it already has 300 orders. Like the brick, the tablets are designed to solve Kenyan problems like erratic power and internet connectivity. Ucheo Koronkwa, CCTV.